Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look on your currency again. So in general, trading plan that we discussed yesterday has worked. So we've got, we've got downside action from predefined level. Uh, although this action was not really very significant. So it's uh, it has reached just this level slightly lower. And some downside spike action on um, intraday charts and hourly chart. And uh, at the same time, you could see that overall your currency performance here does look really bearish. So market stands relatively tight. Here's was delivered bad, but after it, you can see we haven't got any significant retracement. Most of the market was standing in a tight range. And it's now forming some kind of the flag consolidation. You could draw it maybe some a different manner. You could draw it like pennant or something of this kind. But this is a tight consolidation near the top. It, it always has bullish features. Uh, if you'll take a look at, at other um, different assets, so for example, on a dollar index we have approximately the same story this is a bitcoin guys sorry uh here is on the dollar index you could see what's going on our prediction doesn't look uh, really very strong for dollar uh, this spike was has happened yesterday market was not able to reach the upper border of this consolidation and on the on the daily chart you could see approximately the same pictures in your currency market stands in a tight consolidation so in kind of the also flag pattern something of this kind after the significant drop uh, but uh, the fact that market is slightly moving higher in recent couple of sessions and on a 10-year bonds you also could see this pullback rising of the yields uh, from 25 basis points that has provided some support to the dollar and it makes the pressure on uh, your currency at the same time in the current circumstances and with this kind of action that we see here and dollar index in particular personally i don't want to um, consider taking a new short position by far because it seems very fragile and unstable action on the dollar on the euro currency if you take a look at the same picture we could see that um, on the fall time from chart uh, market has completed downside a b c d pattern the minimum minimal cop extension this is just 618 extension of the a b leg and that creates an agreement with the 50% uh, support area. For now, it is a bit late to take position based on this agreement because market has shown already significant pullback because it, we do not know exactly whether this market will keep going to the OP or not. In general, AB like relatively sharp, CD acceleration also looks relatively fast. That makes chances to move into the OP more or less acceptable. So more or, more or less reasonable so this might happen at the same time uh those of you who would like to take long position if you haven't taken in here you could watch for some different patient for example if market will form say uh hand shores here so it will return right back down right back up there's might be some hand shoulder shape or taken out of the c point in this case we could speak about something more definite this market after standing in the consolidation of the flag and pen and pension market is already trying to uh, challenge the top and keep going higher but for now um, this is not yet the case so we need to keep an eye on if you have taken position yesterday on the short setup bear stuff that we discussed recall what we said here so market this is the time to make the decision because uh, it's not necessary the market will have to pips to pips complete the predefined level it's not if sometimes it may not happen but in general, sit down has worked, market has dropped immediately. So if you have taken the short position here, you could decide what to do. Maybe you already have closed, but if you still have it um, and you would like to make the bet on action to the OP on the fall time from chart, then probably you could move stops to the break even and see what will happen. Um, so for new position taken, well, theoretically, it is not a really forbidden, so you could do this. But recall what I said about the performance on the dollar index. 10-year bonds uh, this action currently is not very reliable so it's relatively fragile choppy and that makes us think that this is some kind of the retracement and uh, when it will be over dollar could show another downside action so 
It means that in current circumstances here, it's relatively risky to take the short, new short position. But on the hourly chart at the same time, it will be not very significant risk. So if you're taking position or placing stuff somewhere above this area, uh, it will be approximately 25 pips per, per, per contract. Uh, Pilot here. And that's this, if this is acceptable to you, you could try to do this. That's actually unfortunately all that we have currently in euro currency. Uh, this week, guys, is actually very boring. So, if uh, two weeks ago it was really amazing week, we, we've got lots of trading stuff, good volatility in the markets, and so on. This week, it's the same degree boring. So, you can see market the whole week stands in a very tight range without any direction. And we just think only that we could do is just consider some minor steps intraday patterns that are forming on our chart that unfortunately all. but uh, thankfully today is friday already so next week we hope this will be a bit uh, more exciting so let's take a look <laughs> 